Good evening. Um, I played the sax as a teenager and have been a committed jazz fan for most of my life, so it's a thrill for me to be hosting the gala once again and to be part of this very special evening with so many jazz icons. I am a huge nerd right now. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, 13 of the world's most accomplished young trumpet players participated in the nail-biting semifinals, and tonight you will hear the three selected by our esteemed panel of judges to perform in the final round. Uh, at stake are scholarship prizes, a recording contract with Concord Music Group, and the global recognition of winning the world's most prestigious jazz competition. It is now my honor to introduce the judges. And it is so wonderful to be here this evening to participate in the jazz world's most important show of the year. In 2007, Thelonious Monk Institute established the Herbie Hancock Humanitarian Award, presented periodically in recognition of widespread significant contributions to advance world peace and improve humankind. Through his spiritual beliefs, groundbreaking music, and his compassionate and generous humanitarian efforts, Herbie has brought joy, oh yes, and sol solace, now he's such a joyful guy, to millions. As an integral part of the Institute's educational e initiative, Herbie has traveled around the globe, sharing his love and knowledge of jazz and teaching audiences about the uniting force of America's greatest contribution to the arts. And, <laughs> and when presidential hopeful Bill Clinton, sporting Blues Brothers sunglasses, played his sax on Arsenio Hall's talk show in 1992, he created an indelible historic image. Generating worldwide media madness, this unprecedented but savvy approach by a candidate sent a powerful message about the man himself, and soon, he was propelled onto the world stage where he developed a new direction for our country, shaped foreign policy, and improved international relations. As a young boy, Bill Clinton learned about jazz and practicing the sax soon became his favorite hobby. Playing in school jazz ensembles and later winning first chair in the Arkansas State Band sax section, his music education served as the foundation that shaped his imagination and creative vision. I love jazz. <laughs> you know what else I love? <laughs> I love that house of cards. <laughs> 99 percent of what they do in that show is real. <laughs> and the one percent they got wrong is you could never get an education bill passed that fast. <laughs> And I, uh, I have uh, had the honor of knowing uh, the president for a very long time, and whether it's uh, being with him on the campaign trail or events at the White House or our trip to Africa to watch firsthand the remarkable work that he has done, uh, both as president and uh, outside of the presidency, has been a great honor to call him my friend. He has been a friend and champion of the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz for over two decades, and this evening we're here to honor him for his contributions to the Institute and the music. <laughs> 